car, but have you ever raced a car? Well, this week we're in Charlotte Motor Speedway and we're racing stock cars! Welcome to Project Adventure. My name's Peter, this is Spencer, we're your hosts. For the last 20 years, I've been a hunting and fishing guide in Alaska, and there's one thing I've learned. Adventure is essential for a full life, but most people think they're too busy or too broke to do anything about it. Wrong! We choose one lucky person to take on the adventure of a lifetime. We pair them with world-class coaches and turn them from zero to hero in less than 72 hours. Are you ready to find your adventure? Let's go. This month we're taking Steve Bass to the racetrack and we're racing stock cars. Just got off my flight from Atlanta, heading to go get my bags. Very excited about what's about to happen here. Steve is a youth pastor in Auburn, Alabama. He's 42 years old, has two kids, and has been a huge NASCAR fan his entire life. All right, everybody, we're at South Boston Motor Speedway in Virginia. We're here to get a little practice in and some race cars today. We're gonna get ready for the big race tomorrow, but we're waiting on Steve to get here. He reached out to us and we contacted this Speedway and the Charlotte Motor Speedway, so we got some awesome racing for you guys. He's pulling in now, they just picked him up at the airport. What's up? What's up? How's it going? Yeah, yeah. Steve? Steve? Good to meet you, yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, man, you excited? I'm so excited. Really? The second we saw the track, I started freaking out. When we pulled in here, I just, man, this is a lifetime dream for me come true, right. so I'm so pumped. All right, you don't even know what we have in store. I mean, who do we got? We got Jeb Burton and Peyton Sellers here. Uh, they are our guys, so they're professionals. Like yeah. they do the, the Xfinity series, and this is their home track. This is where they grew up. We're gonna learn today, and then tomorrow we're going to Charlotte. Oh we're my gonna gosh. do head-to-head -head yes. competition. That's awesome. So you're gonna be competing with uh, Spencer first, and then coming up against the big dog. Yeah, I hope you're ready to get beat. <laughs> <laughs> we got all day, so let's yeah, get after it. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Peter Goodwin. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, man. Steve. Nice to meet you, Steve. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Spencer. Well, glad y'all could make it, man. This is South Boston Speedway. This is where my dad, my uncle, uh, started their career, and this is where I started mine. And excited to take y'all in a race car today and take you into my life a little bit and show you how hot it gets and kind of the things we deal with as drivers and at the same time give the keys over to y'all and see who's the fastest driver. We've already established that. It's going to be me. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 We just met Steve. He's already talking trash. Yeah. You know, I like you. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm all about Back competition, up. baby. Okay, so what's first? What are we going to do? What are we doing? So, First, I'm gonna take you in the Groove Life van, go around the track. I'll take you around, show you the line, uh, show you what, where I would be running the car and, and when to get on the gas and those things. And oh yeah. The CG <laughs> is <laughs> definitely high on the van, so we can squall some tires, but we probably don't wanna to go too high. Right, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so this is the line. So you want to want to keep it out right here. Arc the corner, get it down, make it one gradual turn, and then when the car gets pointed, see how you got pointed to come off. Yeah. When the nose gets pointed, that's when you want to get back on the gas. I'm not helping. I'm not helping your tires any, so we no. probably ought to slow down a little bit. What'd y'all think? What'd you think? Yeah. You like that? Yeah. That's cool. Cool. The van was kind of sketchy because obviously there's no safety in the van. So first things. And <laughs> we're on mud tires. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> this thing will handle a little bit better and we'll go a lot faster. So. Okay, guys, we're here with Brandy. This is Jeb's fiance. They're about to get married. I'm pretty nervous. I've never gotten to ride with Jeb before, so I think it's going to be fun but I'm especially nervous to ride with him. I think he's gonna try to scare me. <laughs> oh, that's right. I wanna just take it easy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So y'all get to watch how terrified she is before it's y'all. Great. <laughs> so we'll just fill it out and see what it will do. Okay, go at it. Good, good go. luck. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, 
Okay guys, this is Peyton Sellers. He is our other coach. He's also a professional stock car racer. Is that right? That, that's accurate. Perfect. <laughs> He's gonna be Steve's coach, and we're about to get suited up. You wanna kind of uh, give us a heads up on what we're about to do? Absolutely, guys. Well, the key to anything we do here on the track today is gonna be safety. You know, we all wanna have fun. We all wanna do whatever it takes to, to go as fast as we can, but at the end of the day, you gotta be safe. So Randy and the guys brought over some suits for you guys to wear, some Nomex. So, uh, Cotton burns very easy. There's no makes will withstand it. So if Jib crashes and y'all get in a fire with Jib, you got a little time to get out. Okay. So <laughs> hope, hopefully that's not what happens today. But okay, awesome. let's do it. Let's get dressed. Let's it up. Oh. Did he scare you? Oh my gosh, yes. Is <laughs> it awesome? He got a little loose coming out of four, and I was like, oh god, here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, yeah. I, I want to know, you love him more or you love him less? I don't know right now. <laughs> Uh, Jeb just finished his first lap. He's got it all warmed up. I'm jumping in. He's going to show me uh, what it's all about and give me a little scare, I think. Okay, let's go. Phenomenal. I feel like I was like, I feel like we were pulling so many cheese in the corner. Well, Peyton's a wheel man, so uh, he was letting it, letting the uh, rear tires get all hot for you and all kind of stuff. Yeah. Hanging it out. Is that scary, Steve? Uh, I wouldn't say it was scary because I trust this dude over here. I wouldn't trust him too much. <laughs> <laughs> all right, just first, second, third, fourth. Yeah. You saw the way I was kind of just rolling on the brake, getting down in the corner. Yeah. And right in the middle, I could kind of pop the gas a little bit and get it to change direction. Yeah, and it's that slow roll out. Exactly. Don't be turning the wheel as you're touching the throttle. Uh -huh. it'll, it'll snap back on you. So okay. Just be smooth. We don't want to see it. that. Yeah. Be smooth. When you're, get, when you're going onto the track, what, what gear are you in when you're pulling I'm in? First taking off. Oh, okay. Second, third. I'm usually in fourth by the middle of the back stretch. Okay. So All right. Take Good deal. Time. Yeah, you'll be fine. All right, man. Hey, let's, I, do it. let's do it. I was saying just keep it in second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to drive a freaking race car. <laughs> this is his first time driving a stock car after uh, four laps around in the passenger seat. So uh, here at Groove, we throw you right in. You better buckle up. Does he know how to drive a stick shift? Hey, you know how to drive a stick shift? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Jeb is definitely more nervous than me. <laughs> Don't crash. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting a stock car. 
when we get back. <laughs> okay, guys, we are here with Randy Johnson. This is his car that we drove today. This thing was intense. It was unbelievable. And so tell me a little bit about what you do, God's Pit Crew. <laughs> well, God's Pit Crew is a nonprofit faith-based disaster relief group. We travel all over the country, all over the world for that matter and help wow. people out after natural disasters. Okay. So, Wow, that's yeah. great. So if people are interested in helping out on the next natural disaster, how would they, what would they, where would they go? How would they find you? Well, probably the very best source of information is our websites, guidespitcrew.org. They can find out about anything they want to there. Well, thank you for what you thank do. You, we man. really appreciate the car, and Glad thanks for uh, doing God's work out there and, yeah. and uh, leveraging your your talents and your hobbies and kind of merging it all together. I love that. It's what we do at Groove Life and it makes it just makes, you know, it's what God gave you and you're just leveraging it for his kingdom. So we're blessed to do it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Jeff, dude, that was intense. Well, How do we do? I think y'all did pretty good. I think uh, you didn't have what they had. Yeah. We got the radios after he drove. So Peyton didn't really have a fair shot on yeah, teaching. We weren't able it. to communicate. I got to learn a little bit what to teach and then Peter got it done Max there at the end. Uh, Peter beat him right. by three tenths, was the fastest, job well done. We're going to Camp Motorsports. Okay. Uh, it's right near our farm, actually, and we're gonna go there and race go-karts. Right, so right. we can awesome. take a little bit of what you learned here now. and put it there and beat and bang a little bit. And Contact. There that's you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going to bump, beat and bang, and it's racing, right? right? So that's what we're gonna go do, and we'll see who's the best driver there. Heck yeah. Steve, yeah. Yeah. what do you think? First time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Everything I wanted and more. It was right. awesome. All I right. can't wait to do it again. Yeah, let's go ride some uh, go-karts. Yeah. Heck yeah. Do it. Do it. Hey, you guys want to drive beside me? showed up here at Camp Motorsports. Here we're going to take care of the cars, but at the same time we're going to have some fun okay. and, and see if, see if y'all can keep up this time. <laughs> you won the racetrack, are you going to win the go-kart? Absolutely. That's, that's the question. Yeah. Steve's <laughs> been talking a little bit. I don't yeah. know if it's going to be that easy this time. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're about to head back. What's the, what's the rules on bumping and all that? Can you touch a little bit as long as you're not bam? Or uh, yeah, typically we don't like it. Uh, okay, did you hear that? Your football, we don't Yeah, I didn't hear. I got my earplugs in. What? was flying down the straightaway. No, I thought they were normal go-karts. These are not normal go-karts. These things rip. This is where Peyton, me, and my dad started racing was on these go-karts. And yeah. the, the things that you do out there on these carts is the same kind of things we do inside the race right. cars. So. I will say this, I was closely behind you three, and then all of a sudden I look over and Spencer's in front of me blowing through cones. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a cheater. And then I was like, oh, that's game, we're game on now. So I spun out and I look up and you're like three turns ahead. I was like, well, screw that. Don't, don't yeah. 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 What do you think? Yeah, well, so uh, when we all lined up to take off, my uh, my car went kaput. And I so, thought we were back in the race car because you wasn't going nowhere. Yeah, I watched, <laughs> I watched everybody go, and I'm like, no. So I had to come back in and get, uh, get the nitrous. The choke was still in. Oh. It was puttering out when we were cranking it earlier. And I, yeah. Now, Steve, you're at, Steve, I've taught you all I can teach you here. I know. Today. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'm trying I, to question your teacher. I mean, he's putting water in the tank. And... <laughs> I'm only as good as the, the, the material I have to work with, okay? So I've been working hard, I've been working hard trying to teach you the best I can. I've got to go race this weekend. So oh, I, I've got to go to work this weekend. I've got to leave you with Daytona 500 champion, 
and a guy that I grew up watching, Ward Burton. Yeah, so, I'm all about that. I'm all, Ward, good luck. Good luck to you. You got your work cut out for you. <laughs> Thank you. And you know, the problem is, Peyton, you, you're a very experienced and you're a good, good, solid race car driver. So if you can't help Steve, <laughs> yeah. Steve, that's starting to question whether I can help you or not. But the, the ministry, let me tell you, the ministry we, are, might we be, ain't giving up. We're going to go to Charlotte and kick some butt. That's right. We're going to rock it. <laughs> hey, if you just get behind him and push him. Yeah. In these well, I did that today. <laughs> <laughs> I did try. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps up our go-kart racing. We've done a lot of racing today, but tomorrow's the big day, and you're going, I mean, you're going head-to-head. -head. I am. But you got Ward on your side, so. I got the legend on yeah. my team. You I'm did. not worried. You did. I'm not worried a bit. Where is that at? <laughs> All right, I think we're about to head out to the Ward Burton Wildlife Foundation. We're going to do a little bit of fishing, a little bit of grilling out and get rested up for tomorrow's race day. Big thank you to Camp Motorsport. They did a great job hosting us, and you guys check them out, campmotorsport.org. Got it. Ward, tell me a little bit about how you got into NASCAR. My dad had taken my younger brother, Jeff, to late mile stock, so I went to South Boston Speedway where we were today. Yeah. A fella offered me a street stock in uh, first race, finished second, and everything was second from in my life after that. So it was just a hobby, but it was all about that race car. That's awesome. Yeah. Just yeah. addicted. I just, I just loved it. Came, I felt like pretty easy to me, and I just loved that drilling. And that's how I feel after one trip today. So well, you did I can great see it. today, too. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Man. I mean, to be honest with you, I think you're gonna do great tomorrow. Well, I hope you, so. You I'm excited for sure. I've, I've got to, uh, I've got to pump up my buddy so he can run with you tomorrow. I'm hoping, to, I'm hoping we can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. A little competition out there. Yeah, oh, it's gonna be a little competition, yeah. So I grew up around the sport of racing. Jesus. Dad, put the thing on vibrate. Yeah. My favorite memory is, is Dad winning the 500. That was pretty cool. I was nine years old, so it was a long time ago. The flag is up, and Ward Burton is going to win the 44th Daytona 500. Not many people can say that their dad or they were there in Richter Lane. I mean, so it, it was pretty cool. Hopefully I'll have the shot one day to, to do the same thing. That would be pretty awesome. Racing's really addicting, and I think these guys from today uh, see what my lifestyle is like and kind of a day of some of the things that I deal with in my life at the racetrack. I think these guys had a great time, and I was glad to let them experience a day behind the wheel. Grew up a big NASCAR fan and love, love racing. My dad, one of the very few things that we shared in common is that he, we loved racing. We would watch races and uh, loved the excitement about it. And that's why this trip was such a big deal. Uh, every part of it, getting out in a, in a car, putting the suit on, putting the helmet. I mean, honestly, I could have got, just put the suit and the helmet on, sat in the car. and It would have been worth the whole trip. But getting to drive around this track, getting to race guys in the go-karts today, though, are, quite a grade above the uh, commercial go-karts you get to ride at Panama City Beach. And uh, and then tomorrow, um, I don't even know how to put it into words to get out on the Charlotte Motor Speedway and uh, ride with Ward Burton, one of my favorite drivers, and then um, actually get to drive uh, around the track. So I'm very excited about that as well. So you retired in 2007, I guess. So. What are you up to now, and kind of what do you, what do you have going outside of the NASCAR world? Well, it's crazy to see now. I was the first NASCAR driver to form a nonprofit. Wow! I had a lot of people influence me to call it the Ward Burton Wildlife Foundation. That takes a lot of my time. It's like this land right here. Uh, the other thing that really takes my time is Jeb's racing career. Right. So that kid's giving it 100%, and that's why that I'm willing to help him. But right. Yeah, man, I'm like a uh, chicken my head cut off every day. <laughs> That's um, good. 4.30 a.m. to dark every day. I just do not my work. Let's go see if we can catch some fish. Let's do it. Let's do it. Steve, it's day two. Yeah. Where are we going? We're going to Charlotte Motor Speedway, baby. That's right. Charlotte Motor Speedway from South Boston here. We're going to uh, rip up the track. You ready? Yes. Yeah. We're going to be going twice as fast as we did yesterday. That's right. They oh. said about 150, 160 miles an hour. <laughs> Speed! <laughs> All right, let's get in this van. Let's get out of here.
Hey guys, here it is, day two. We're at Charlotte Motor Speedway. We're gonna jump in the cars here in a minute. But first, we're gonna be with the NASCAR experience inside doing some safety briefing. How are you, sir? Good. You made it. And do you guys just like drive around in those suits? <laughs> <laughs> What's different about this track than this short track? What should we expect? A mile and a half is a lot more speed. South Boston was just recently repaved about a year and a half ago, so that place is a little bit more smoother. This place is worn out. It was repaved in like 06, okay. 05, something so it's like got that. Bombs, it's got character. It's got character to it. Uh, I think we'll be able to probably hold these cars wide open around here. So. All right. Yeah. So I heard right there's on. some trash talk between you guys. You might be racing against each other today. Well, he beat me yesterday on the go kart. So we're gonna see who's the fastest today on the big track. He he's a he's a great racer, but uh, it was my day. It was your day. Oh, it's your day today. I'm filming it. <laughs> gonna find out in a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Anytime somebody puts on a uniform, it means business. All right, guys, uh, I'm here with Tyler Kissel. Can you tell us a little bit more about the driving experience? Definitely. We got 16 locations. We use premium tracks. We put these real stock cars that were actually used by race teams, and we let you ride or drive in them. So riding is always fun. You get to ride passenger. It starts at about $100. For driving, it starts about $300. So if people are interested in finding out more about the NASCAR driving experience, where would they go? Go to the NASCARRacingExperience.com where you can find all the details on all of our tracks, our schedules, and the different experiences we offer. What's up, y'all? This is the winner's circle. I thought I'd come here early and figure it out because this is where I'm going to be standing when we're done today. Jeb and his dad are about to jump in the cars. Steve and I are going to ride along and be their coaches. Ward hasn't been in a car in uh, about seven years. Who's going to win? Is that a question? Experience is key. I think the old man's got him. Sorry, Jeb. It all down the back stretch. It was pop, pop, pop. I was like, I, we're getting. Look, he was really rough driving me bad, man. I, I mean, what do you think? Young, pop. I mean, really, he's saying, get out of my way. You look ahead where you want to be. Don't wait till you get there and decide you want to be there. You're looking ahead and you turn accordingly. Yeah. So, hey, yeah. that's what we're talking about with the A pack. Yeah. yeah. I don't want that Jeff Gordon car, though. <laughs> what we want to do is those. That last lap I took you, yeah, yeah. the big arc, uh -huh. get down, and then since you're going to be pretty much wide open today, coming off the wide corner, up. we want to keep it as low as we can to make okay. the racetrack as short as possible. Okay. And that is going to create lap time. We gotcha. do that sometimes here in the truck series. It'll be wide open, you'll come off as low as you can okay. to create lap time because it makes the racetrack shorter. Right. Um, so, and then coming through the tri-oval, we'll just gradually go through there like, it, yeah, it makes it just flow. You get beside the grass, then you get beside the wall, and then it, it just naturally does right. it all by itself. Right. All right, guys, we just got out of the car with Jeb and Ward. I mean, tell me about it. It was amazing. Dude, it was, it's like, it's so fast, and the G's push your head against <laughs> yeah, And I promise you, if I put my hand this far out the window, oh God. I don't have a hand. No. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're kissing the wall several times. I'm like, this is going to be it. Yeah. So now you guys are literally going in a mono a mono right here, a single, versus right now. Jumping in the car. You guys ready? Yeah, Let's do I'm it. I'm so excited. Whoever wins is racing me. You got a bye. <laughs> Peter gets a bye because he's scared that if he loses first round, he won't be in the show anymore. What was that? I don't know what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Had a hard time finding second gear, Spencer. That's not a good sign. Buddy, you're doing a great job. Big arc into one. Hold it out, 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 down. Get down to that white line. It's 
stay right there on it, come off low. Stay in the throttle. I'm with you. I'm with you. Keep on going. Keep your foot on the throttle. Same line. Same line. There you go. Very good. That's, that's a perfect line right there. Actually, it could be a little bit more off the white line. Very good. Blending on the back of one and two. And uh, about right now, you can blend on down to the bottom of the track right there. Spencer just got beat, so Steve's up. Woo! Here we go. Jeff, Dad said you're going to lose two uh, because uh, Steve's going to kick both of y'all's butt. He might be the owner of the company, but that don't mean nothing right now. <laughs> Ran the line. Ward's giving me great instruction in my ears and uh, keeping me on the right line. I got to smoke this joker. Now I'm going to tear all this grass up doing donuts, and I'm going to drive this car home. That's Charlotte Motor Speedway. You're coming up to I'm going to tell you, keep it out, keep it out, keep it out, keep it out. All right, get in. Get in that white Good line. job, good job. There Looking good. Right Looking there. good. better than that. You're doing perfect. Doing perfect. That was too high. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Go down here and run the middle now so you can feel the bumps down here in three and four. So just run the middle of the corner and you'll feel the big bumps. What do you think about that? Yeah, my more. My more we can do the same thing down here in one and two. It's less bumps, but it normally in the race will run the middle of one and two and the bottom of three and four. Bring it in back to pit road next time around. All right, you show me where the winner circle is, baby. Good job, Steve. Proud of you, buddy. Thanks, coach. That was an amazing ride. Showed you what Charlotte Motor Speedway is all about, man. Great experience, guys. Unbelievable. Great, great time. Thank you so much. It was so fun. Oh, I don't want to get out of the car. So, totally confident. Well, after I got around one time, got in the throttle, and really got on that back stretch. And of course, Ward's giving me, he's giving me great advice in my ear the whole time. I pretty much laid into the gas. Watch my tack, which is uh, what he was telling me to do, as long as I kept it under five. <laughs> that was so awesome. Good job. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Get me a car, baby. That was good. I was happy Man. for you. Ah, it felt so good. Like, I didn't want to get out of the car. Oh, my gosh. I want to drive this thing home, man. Was it getting hot? You know, I didn't even notice that. I don't even notice it now. Like, I was so excited. It was just, you know, now I bet if I drove 500 miles, It'd be a different story, but get you know, you're just so into that moment, you don't even think about that. Yeah, and uh, it was normally you don't until the caution comes out, yeah, and then you're like, ah, <laughs> is the competition between these two or all three of you? The competition is us two versus him, and um, I mean, really, we came in and it was you know. He was talking smack and trash from the beginning. <laughs> so we went back to the hotel room and we're like, There's, we're not holding this back on this guy. Uh, All right, well, so Steven, you at 152.90. 152.90. Spencer, you at 152.50. Oh, he got him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got to give him five because that was his toe. That's right. <laughs> Good coach. But I've got to give y'all both a little low blow. The boss here ran the fastest. Oh, yes! <laughs> Good job, home. Good job, baby. Thank you, Steve, for coming. Yeah, man. Was it awesome? It was everything I thought it'd be and more. One of the most thrilling experiences of my life. Got to ride with Ward Burton, one of my favorite drivers of all time, and be coached by him as I went around this track at 153 miles an hour. And uh, I mean, it really is. It's this is this is the climax of my life. Everything. <laughs> I don't know what to do after Dang. this. Yeah, I don't know what to do at all. Oh. Hey guys, if you want to be, <laughs> quit laughing. Right, come on. I got you don't wear groove like You don't know, really. Boss, freak out trying. What did I miss? I missed him. One more. One more. One more. We choose one lucky adventurer each month. Steve was this shit month, and you might be next. Keep grooving.
We'll go with that one. <laughs> <laughs>